A good preventive maintenance plan will reduce fleet costs, extend vehicle life, improve safety, and reduce unexpected downtime due to breakdowns that could have been avoided. This is Joe Walling with Dump Truck Dispatcher. On this video, I'm going to walk you through the vehicle maintenance module to show you how it can help you manage the preventive maintenance and repairs done to your trucks. In addition to providing a means for managing your preventive maintenance, you can also see the history of repairs and costs associated with various services and repairs so that you can see which trucks are duds and that you need to get rid of. When you first log into Dump Truck Dispatcher, you'll see a dashboard like the one shown here. In addition, there may be some non-maintenance related statistics on the dashboard if you have other modules. In this case, I'm only showing the free version with the modules or with the functionality that's included in the free version. You notice in this section, you have the number of trucks out of service, those overdue for service, what's due for service in the next 30 days, and the plates expiring within 30 days. Clicking on any of these summary items will display the detail behind the summary number. For example, if I click the circle for the currently out of service, it'll bring up the detail behind it. Let's go back to our dashboard. And I could click on any of these others, and they'd also bring me the detail behind it. Now down in this section, you'll see we have the trucks that are out of service, and you can see when they went out of service, how long they've been out, and the reason that they're out of service. If you needed to edit the reason, you could click on edit, or if you needed to, if you wanted to return it to service, click this thumbs up, and it'll be returned to service, and the statistics will all update once you've done that. Since it all starts with the trucks, we first need to define some trucks. So in this case, I've already set up some trucks, and this is the truck list here that you can uh, search based on the criteria at the top. You can sort by clicking on these arrows, sort it forward, sort it in reverse, uh, and you can do that by any of the columns that have these arrows. And if I want to edit the record, I'll click on this menu button to the right and then select edit. And you'll see here we have four tabs at the top of the truck detail. You'll notice here these two controls are showing a red asterisk. That means it's required throughout the system. That's what we use those red asterisks for. And you know, here you can see you can collect all sorts of information, including, you know, vehicle identification number, plates, and so on related to this. And if you're putting your uh, plate plate expiration, that'll be picked up, and you, you saw where that would actually display on the dashboard. On the second tab, we have some uh, general maintenance-related values that you could enter here if you want to keep track of some specifics. This third tab is showing the services, and, and if the mileage had been entered, or the hours have been entered, they'd be showing up here. Uh, from here, we can create a, a preventive maintenance service, or that's like adding a service reminder. And then down in this section, you, you'll see that it'll show you whatever preventive maintenance you have due, as well as the service history on this truck. In this case, we don't have any on this truck. On this fourth tab, this is where you could add images or files and you know any anything related to the truck, whether it's purchase paperwork uh, and, and so on, or or it might be you know you've just got some pictures of the truck uh, that you want to track with the truck. So we'll go ahead and we're going to cancel that because we already have that data saved. And one thing to note is. There, there, there is an out of service and an active setting, and you should, you can click those when those apply, and then they won't show up in places you don't want them to show up. If you want to add a new truck, you'll find the Add New button in the upper right. In fact, on all these list screens we have, that's where the Add New will be. So if we click on that, 
as long as we fill in a truck code and category, we could create a new record for the truck. Now, two of those four tabs that we showed you early don't show up until after you save this first set of data on it. Well, we're going to go ahead and cancel that because I don't want to add a new one. And if you wanted to export your truck data for some reason, uh, you could just click this button here and it'll be exported into a format that you can use in Excel. After you have defined your trucks, you can define some services that you'll want to do on those trucks. This is done via the Services menu. At this point, we're only defining the services that will be used in the trucks throughout the fleet. In this case, a service is not referring to a scheduled service on a specific truck, but it's referring to a service that might be done in any truck or type of truck. You may have different services for different types of trucks. If you had multiple types of trucks, such as, Mac, such as Max and Peterbilt's, they may have different engine services. You define each of these engine services as a separate service. You'll see that I have some examples already set up. To add a service, click on the Add New button at the top of the page. Instead of adding, we'll look at an existing one. To do that, we'll click on well, let's come down. We'll look at uh, yeah, the tire inspection. We'll edit that. And you'll see here we have the name. That's the only required field since it has the red asterisk. The name is something shorter but descriptive. And then if I, I needed to be more specific with the description, that's what I'd put here. You have the recommended time interval in days, in miles, and in hours. And what that means is, you know, this is the interval at which that service should be done. The warning days, miles, and hours are how much before the recommended interval should I provide a warning. If you're overdue, in other words, you've exceeded that recommended time, we show things in red. If you're within the warning, amount then we'll show that in yellow so that's why you know you can say you want to, the, the recommended mileage that you want to change or do this tire inspection is 3,000 miles but 100 miles ahead of that I want to start showing that it's time to do it so in that case at 2,900 miles uh, that's when it would show you notice down here you can also select documents and add documents to it like if you have instructions for how this tire inspection should be done so let's go ahead and cancel that since I didn't change anything. It might also be useful to note that in some cases you can have multiple recommended intervals. In other words, if we look here at this brake inspection, you see that it has a time interval of 60 days and a mileage interval of 3,000 miles. Whichever of these comes first will be the one that you'll first see the warnings and then that you've gone over uh, the recommendation. Now that we have some services defined, it's time to create a preventive maintenance schedule. This is where we specify when a service is supposed to be done on a specific truck. Start by click clicking the PM Schedule menu on the main menu. To add a PM, click the Add PM button in the top right of the page. Notice that the first five fields have a red asterisk. That means they're required. Instead of adding a new one, let's look at an existing one that we have. We'll look at the brake inspection. Click on Edit. And notice how you can see the last date and mileage and hour that it was done, as well as the due date, due mileage, uh, warning, and so on. All those are available on the detail. You may have noticed on the preventive maintenance schedule that we have some different colors being displayed. In this case, we, we aren't seeing the yellow, which would tell you that something's you know with, within the range that it's due. But you can see that I've been very negligent on servicing my trucks. Uh, in this case, uh, this is past due. That's why it's red. And this, you know, it's telling me it's 35 days past due. 
So you could quickly scan or sort them and then scan and see which of your trucks are overdue for maintenance or are due shortly. And you can plan your uh, work orders for that. So next, let's look at how from this PM schedule I can create work orders. Notice right now work orders is disabled. In order to enable it, I'd need to select some trucks. So if I wanted a work order for the truck 100 brake inspection, and let's say we also want to do some work on truck 105, you'll notice how the create work orders is now visible. If I click on this button, it'll create two work orders. One for truck 100 and another for truck 105. Now if I had multiple preventive maintenance that needed to be done on a truck, I could select those and they'd all get added to a single work order. Now we'll navigate to the work orders page where you can see that we have several work orders. We'll look at one by selecting edit from the menu button of the desired row. Note how we can specify the type of service so if you have an outside repair, outside warranty work, uh, we, it covers a variety of these, so just pick the one that makes sense for what you're looking for. You'll see that there are, you know, the vehicle number is required, but a lot of the, a lot of the rest is optional. And then down below, you'll specify the actual service that's getting done. So, you know, it could be, and if you had created this work order uh, from the PM list like I just showed a minute ago this would have already been filled in for you you can add the notes you can put in you know took a couple hours and you know 35 bucks an hour uh, you know if you had a few bucks worth of parts costs into it for the inspection and then click on save you'll see that uh, you know now it shows that line item and it updated the costs. You'll also notice that you can have pictures that get associated with the work order. Hopefully this video has given you a good overview of the vehicle maintenance functionality in Dump Truck Dispatcher and should be enough for you to get up and running with it. If not, let us know and we'll help you out.